near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. This is Mr. Chris Claremont. A legend. Melanie goes, Pizza <gasps> What's happening, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of collected editions. And it is time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. That's right. We're going to be talking about the collected editions coming out in April of 2024. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to your monthly budget meeting. Today we're going to be looking at collected editions coming out in April of 2024. There's a total of five weeks because I'm putting in May 1st in there because books come out on April 30th and May 1st and towards the end of the month I'll also have that reminder of the last week of the month so I'll put both that video together. And speaking of putting things together, a big thank you to Dom of X for creating the documentation and the images, my goodness, my guy, thank you so much. Could I, I am forever grateful. It takes down my editing. You have no idea about how many hours, my brother. And if you're interested in written documentation, we do have the written documentation of all of the books coming out this month on our Patreon. And the description of the video will have the link to our Patreon. So five weeks, let's not waste any time and get started after you hit that like button, please. I always forget to remind people of that. So if, if you already hit the like button, thank you so much. If you already shared a video, thank you as well. Thank you all so much uh, for keeping this segment going. I Putting it together was something that I used to do for fun for myself. And then people started wondering how I kept up with books. And now you all know how. And also, it's a part of your monthly budget meeting. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the first week of April. From Marvel Comics, on April 3rd, we are looking at Deadpool Batter Blood. This is the story by Rob Liefeld and Chad Bowers. Rob Liefeld coming back to the character. And this is the one that he said he's retiring from the character. He's not doing any more Deadpool stories. So collecting Deadpool Batter Blood 1 through 5, $19.99, 144 pages. And also that same week, Spider-Man India, Seva is coming out, collecting Spider-Man India 1 through 5. Nikesh Shukla and Malsuni Abhishek are the main creators on this book, 112 pages and $15.99. Now, the character of Spider-Man India has been around way longer than the Spider-Verse movie, by the way. It's not just because of the popularity of the movie they made a new character. Actually, way before even the Spider-Verse was a thing. Alien by Chave and Brocardo, Volume 2, Descendant. So we're looking at Alien Annual 2023, number one, and then Alien, the second 2023 miniseries, one through four. So the clan Chave and Danny Earls, Andrea Brocardo, working on this book, $19.99, 136 pages. Spider Man 2099. Omnibus Volume 2, I've done an overview of that, and every Sunday after I unleash this video, I do my top 10 most anticipated must-reads, essential buys for the month, whatever upcoming month I'm talking about. So you may see this one show up back in there. Daredevil Epic Collection, The Concrete Jungle. So collecting Daredevil 133 to 154, annual number four, Ghost Rider number 20, Marvel Premiere 39 through 40 and 43. So we are hitting the Marv Wolfman era, uh, but Bob Brown, and you also have some artwork in here by the return of Gene Colan, Carmen Infantino, Roger McKenzie, and Jim Shooter, also some of the creators on that Epic Collection. Ghost Rider by Jason Aaron Omnibus is coming back to print that very same week, collecting Ghost Rider 20 through 35. And I think, yeah, my video just came out on Wednesday, if you're watching this. Is that the way it works? Time travel, I swear it's so weird whenever you're uh, pre-recording videos. But uh, collecting the 20, 2006 Ghost Rider 20 through 35 and Ghost Rider's uh, Heavens on Fire. One through six miniseries. So a lot of artwork in here by Roland Bushy and Tan Anquet and Tony Moore. But all of it written by Jason Aaron. And if you watch that video, I tell you exactly where it takes place in the reading order of Ghost Rider. 
X-Men Epic Collection Children of the Atom is coming back to print, collecting the early, early years of X-Men, the Silver Age series, 1963. Uh, issues 1 through 23 are coming back to print in this epic collection, $49.99, 520 pages. And to wrap up that week from Marvel Comics is Deadpool, the saga of Wade Wilson. This is an anthology series collecting early appearances of Deadpool through his ongoing series and also some of it from the 2012 series. So Deadpool 3 through 5, 17 through 19, 57 through 61, plus the Deadpool Death Annual 98. So that's all from the original 1997 series. And then Deadpool 15 through 19, and that's from the 2012 series. So you're going to have work in here from Joe Kelly and Daniel Way, Ed McGinnis, and Steve Dillon, just to name a few of the creators. $44.99, 416 pages. From the world of DC Comics, we're getting Bad Dream, a dreamer story. So this is an original graphic novel that is by Nicole Maines and Rye Hickman. And it is coming out in a, it looks to be, yeah, it's a trade paperback. I was going to say, I thought it was a digest size, but it looks like the dimensions are that of a trade paperback. Speaking of trade paperbacks, we're getting the Sandman. Nope, not speaking of a trade paperback. The other one, the hardcovers. Uh, Sandman Universe Nightmare Country, The Glass House. So this is by James Tunyon and Lissandro Estren. And $29.99, 208 pages. And collecting the Sandman Universe Nightmare Country, The Glass House 1 through 6. Now, for people wondering, has this been collected in omnibus format? No, just the classic stuff has been collected in omnibus format. It'll actually say the Sandman classics. This is the new Sandman stuff. The Unstoppable Doom Patrol is coming out in a trade paperback, collecting all seven issues, or the first seven issues. I think it's still ongoing. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And Doom Patrol story from Lazarus Planet, Dark Fate number one, sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents, one hundred and ninety two uh, pages. Dennis Culver and Chris Burnham, and Spirit World. This is the story by Alyssa Wong and Haining is the artist on this book, with Sebastian Chang. And this is collecting Spirit World one through six, sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents for this trade paperback. And 176 pages, Superman, Lois and Clark, Doom Rising. So it is the return to this era of Superman right before the rebirth. And I, I love this stuff uh, because this is collecting from Action Comics 1051 to 1057. And then from the Death of Superman 30th Anniversary Special number one. This is pretty much picking up where Superman, Lois, and Clark left off. If you remember that era in the New 52, right before the relaunch of Rebirth. And it is $16.99 and 128 pages. It is Dan Jurgens and Lee Weeks working on that book. Cyborg Homecoming by Morgan Hampton with artwork by Tom Rainey. Big fan of Rainey. Uh, this is a trade paperback that collects Cyborg 1 through 6. And then a story from Cyborg... Uh, a cyborg story from DC Power a Celebration. $16.99, 144 pages. JLA Book 1. I want to say these have come out in trade paperback. Uh, we've had the Lux editions of these. We've had the omnibus of this. But this is collecting JLA 1 through 9, JLA Secret Files and Origins 1, JLA Wildcats number 1, and JLA... Tomorrow Woman, which has never been collected, JLA 80 Page Giant number one, JLA Annual number one, and JLA Paradise Lost one through three, and JLA Gallery. <laughs> uh, so, uh, some of the stuff has never been collected in the skinny trade paperbacks, nor in the deluxe hardcovers. I think some of it has been collected in the thick trades. But not all of it, and definitely not all of this in the omnibus format. So if you want more of a complete chronological reading order of JLA, this trade paperback is the one. It's not labeled a compendium, it's not labeled a DC's Finest, which is really interesting because we've seen those drop in the catalog. They're $39.99, and some of them have 500 pages. Uh, this one's $49.99, it's 616 pages. 100 Bullets, book one. This is a new printing. Pretty much the same thing as the deluxe hardcover edition. $39.99, 456 pages. 
and it collects the first 19 issues of 100 Bullets. Batman, The Brave and the Bold, The Winning Card by Tom King and Mitch Gerrads. So collecting Batman, The Brave and the Bold 1 and 2, 5, and issue number 9. From the world of Image Comics, we have Firepower by Kirkman and Samney, Volume 6. So we have... I, I don't think we have a solicit yet for the second hardcover. Uh, the first, oh, well, no, it'll, it'll be a while because I think the first one was three trades in that one. So this one will probably be three trades. So maybe a little bit after this one is released. Forged Volume 2 is coming out that very same week. And that is Home Sweet Home. And we're also getting the Local Man Volume 2 trade paperback. And that is coming out from Image Comics, as well as the Sacrificers, Volume 1 trade paperback. And from the world of Dark Horse Comics, we're getting Panya, The Mummy's Curse. And that is a Mike Mignola book, or a new Mike Mignola book, rather, $24.99. And it is a hardcover. They've been releasing these standard size hardcovers. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see a world of, or maybe a Hellboy companion uh, collection. It is all set in the world of Hellboy, so I can imagine that someday we'll have some kind of oversized hardcovers of these. This collects the Mummy's Curse 1 through 4. That Frankenstein monster was freaking, or I think it's just called Frankenstein, freaking awesome. But this is by Mike Mignola, Chris Robertson, and Christopher Mitten. And also from the world of Hellboy by Mike Mignola is the Witchfinder Omnibus Volume 1 by Mignola, John Arcudi, and Kim Newman and Ben Stenbeck. And this is collecting the Sir Edward Grey Witchfinder Volumes 1 through 3. From the world of Boom, Damn Them All, Volume 2 is coming out. This is the Cy Spurrier and Charlie Adler book collecting Damn Them All 7 through 12. And from IDW, we're getting Dark Spaces, Good Feeds. This is, or Good Deeds, not Good Feeds. Maybe they're eating well. I don't know. <laughs> This is the uh, Chet Grayson and Kelsey Ramsey book. It is a trade paperback for $17.99. From Titan Comics, we're getting Scarlet Coacher Munich File trade paperback. And that is by Des Taylor and Ken Lashley. And Ken Lashley supplying that beautiful, stunning cover. This is the Convert Investigation Group's Most Deadly Spy. And she's returning. From the world of manga, we have Bless, Volume 1, coming out from Kodansha. This is by Yukino Sonayama, both the artist and the writer on the book. And Boruto, continuing the next generation of Naruto, by Masashi Kishimoto, who came back to the title of Naruto's next generation, which is Boruto. But also Mikio Ikimoto is supplying the art for that. Fairy Tale Omnibus Volume 3, continuing the fairy tale collections. We've had them in Tonkaban, and we've had them in a hardcover, or not hardcover, box sets, box set collections, but now we're getting them in Omnibus. So they're soft cover, but almost like a three in one. Kimini Todoke from The Soulmate Volume 1 is coming out that week. And that is being published by Vis. And that is Karuho Shina is the mangaka behind that particular book. And Victoria's Electric Coffin Volume 1 is coming out that very same week. And that is being put out by the folks at... Oh, this is a Square Enix book. When I saw the cover, I thought it was a Black Butler at first. But this is by Ikinu Tajima. So that one is coming out the first week of April. Now, let's talk about the rest of the books that are coming out from different publishers. From Ablaze, we're getting Ablaze Artist Spotlight, Maria Lovett, Collected Set. This is a book that's $34.99. So, this is a box set that has Eros and Psyche, and also has Porcelain. This is $34.99. And Adventures of Bailey School Kids, Volume 4, Dragons Don't Cook Pizza. Both a hardcover and a softcover are being released the very same day. Casa Grande, Volume 6, Familia, 
Feud, and also one that by Paper Cuts that's being published in hardcover and trade paperback that very same day. Day Off is coming out in a hardcover format by Aloha Comics, and it is a volume one. There's supposed to be two of them. Full of Myself graphic memoir about body image is coming out in a soft cover format. As well as Geronimo Stilton, reporter, Mr. and Mrs. Matched, volume 16, coming out in a hardcover format. And that is being published by the folks at Paper Cuts. They've been putting out a lot of the, or Mad Cave and Paper Cuts have been putting out a lot of the stuff in trade paperback and in hardcover format that kids are reading. And I love that idea. I Survived the Battle of D-Day Volume 9 is coming out that very same week. And that is being published by the folks at Graphics. And also getting the Japan's Longest Day End of World War II. So this is being published by Tuttle Publishing. And it is by Kasutoshi Hando. And... Yukinobu Hoshino and we thought well maybe it belongs in the manga section but I think it's a it's just such a powerful story about this particular era in Japan that I don't know I I wanted to put it here and but, but Tuttle really doesn't publish a lot of manga anyway um and we're also getting Judge Dredd a penitent man coming out that very same week from Rebellion 2000 AD and yes I realized I said the country of Japan, Japan but I didn't want to interrupt it with the Street Fighter graphic because I was talking about something serious uh, but hey I slid it in there anyway now light it shoot it trade paperback is coming out that very same week from the folks at Fanic Graphics as well as Night Eater she eats the night volume one now this has been delayed quite a number of times, but now it seems like this is when we're getting the soft cover from Abrams Books. The Complete Peanuts trade paperback version, volume 21, 1991 to 1992, is coming out that very same week, as well as Resonant. And I ended up getting an early copy of this, and I just started reading it, and I did not want to put it down. Uh, so I may do a video on this. This is uh, by Vault Comics. It's David Andre, Skylar Partridge, and Tim Daniel. $24.99. And it's all 10 issues in this deluxe trade paperback. It is a soft cover. So I know some people, when I say deluxe, immediately think, oh, he's talking about a hardcover. No, there are deluxe trade paperbacks, believe it or not. And we're also getting Timid. And that is coming out from the folks at Graphics as well as the Victory Parade. And Victory Parade is coming out in a hardcover format from Shokin or Shokin Books. I don't know why I went a little extra with that Shokin. And whatever after Volume 1, Ferris is coming out in a hardcover and a trade paperback format. The week of April 10th from Marvel Comics, we have The Incredible Hulk Marvel Masterworks Volume 1. And by the way, um, my buddy Aaron, uh, who I always give a shout out to, uh, he has a new little baby girl and, you know, him and his baby have been hanging out with his wife, Aletha. So I just want to give them a huge shout out and thank you all, all those years of helping me put the Marvel and DC stuff together, my brother. And love seeing your family grow, man. That's so cool. Uh, hold on to those times, boy, because they, oh my goodness. They just, uh, one day they just don't want to hang out with you. All right, uh, Incredible Hulk 1 through 6. This is the classic stuff of uh, the Silver Age, $75. This is one of the most slimmest of the Marvel Masterworks, though. This is 200 pages. Both covers available the same day. Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2 Part 2. And this is an adaptation of The Mandalorian. So the rest of Season 2, issues 5 through 8 are collected in here. And Star Wars, Darth Vader by Greg Pak, Volume 8, Dark Droid. So now Darth Vader has been getting into the crossover event. We've had Star Wars and we've had droids. And now it's Darth Vader's turn. Uh, collecting 37 through 41, $19.99. Predator vs. Wolverine by Benjamin Percy, Greg Land, and Andre DeVito. 
collecting the four issue miniseries of Predator vs. Wolverine, $19.99, 128 pages. Daredevil Omnibus Volume 3. This is a thick book. Uh, collecting issues of Daredevil 75 through 119, Avengers 111, that's the story with uh, Magneto and the Avengers, and Amazing Adventures 1 through 8, or material from Amazing Adventures. $125, 1160 pages. So in here, there's a lot of uh, Jerry Conway, a lot of Gene Colan, Steve Gerber taking over the book. Black Widow Modern Era Epic Collection, and this one here is coming out that very same week and it is $44.99 for 472 pages and from the world of DC Comics we are getting DC vs. Vampires Volume 2 with I love that cover right there that is a freaking awesome cover uh, this is James Tynion and Matthew Rosenberg and this is collecting DC vs. Vampires 7 through 12 and The Vigil by Ram V and Lalit Kumar Sharma, collecting The Vigil 1 through 6. And a lot of my viewers have told me how interesting of a series that is. I don't know if that means it's good or if it means I should just read it and judge it for myself. Batman Detective Comics Volume 4, read on me, uh, read on Kenny Omar Talk Pretty One Day. Riddle Me This by Mariko Tamaki and Nadia Shamas, Ivan Reyes and David Lapham. Um, are the illustrators the collecting Detective Comics 1059 to 1061, $16.99, 112 pages. The Flash by Joshua Williamson, Omnibus, Volume 1, $125, 1,008 pages. And what's really interesting is like lately they have been doing a lot of variant covers for these books, these Omnis. This one doesn't have a variant cover. It just has one cover. Unless they put it into the final cutoff and I just... I haven't heard about it, but um, maybe they, they added it. I don't know. Tales of the Titans. And this is collecting Tales of the Titans 1 through 4. And it's got, oh, man. It's got Nightwing and Raven and Donna Troy, Cyborg and Beast Boy and Starfire and Flash. I assume that's Wally. Love that cover there by Christopher Samney. And we're also getting Naomi Season 2 trade paperback. That one seems to have been pushed a lot, but seems to be coming out that very week. And from Image Comics, we're getting Creepshow Volume 2. I love this anthology stuff. I hope they do a hardcover of it one day. Uh, this is collecting Volume 2, Issues 1 through 5. So in here, you're going to find the work of Garth Dennis, Michael Walsh, Phil Hester, Dan uh, Waters, Zoe Thorogood, and Nick Dragota. And also my uh, Becky Cloonan, just to name a few of the creators. So I'm very excited for that one. $17.99. And we're also getting Enfield Gang Massacre Trade Paperback coming out that very same week. And that is by Chris Condon and Jacob Phillips. And it collects this six-issue miniseries. Also that very same week from Image Comics, The Invincible Complete Library Volume 5. It seems to have been pushed to this week but we will see um it looks like that might be coming out as well as the invincible complete library volume two but i mean those have been delayed for uh, it's uh, since december i think so knock on wood not you uh that they'll be coming out that week collecting 97 through 120 a lot of my viewers have asked me if there's been delays and uh there has been Captara Volume 2 Universal Truths is coming out that very same week. And that is by Chip Sidarsky and Kagan McLeod collecting Captara Universal Truths 1 through 6. That's one I haven't heard of. Let me know in the comments if you've read it. Pretty Deadly The Strike Vault Edition hardcover is coming out. So let's talk about this. This is the 10th anniversary of Pretty Deadly. And it is collecting this in the original detail artboard scale. Okay, so this is an art edition of Pretty Deadly. So this is by Kelly Sue the Comic and Emma Rios. So it'll be a big oversized book because it is $125. And we're also getting Spawn on Wanted Violence coming out that very same week. And that is, I think... This is just a, yeah, it's a mini series, but it is written by Todd McFarlane with artwork by Mike Del Mundo. 
And Stoneheart by Emma Kubert is coming out that week. And... I sh I, is she one of the Kubert's daughter? I want to say. Collecting Stoneheart 1 through 6. Maybe there's no relation. You know, a lot of these artists... <laughs> Have the same last name. I think I remember the time arguing with a friend of mine because he thought Jim Lee was Stan Lee's son. I'm not making that up. Uh, from Dark Horse Comics, we are getting The Horror by Lars Jacobson and Eduardo Francisco. It is a hardcover for $24.99. And from Boom Studios, we're getting Ghost Lore coming out that week. And that is Volume 2 by Cullen Bunn and Leo Max. Collecting issues of Ghost Lore Five through eight, sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. From IDW, we're getting Godzilla. Here there be dragons by Frank Terry and Inaki Miranda, and this is nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, one hundred and twenty eight pages. From the world of manga, we are getting the Fable Omnibus, and that is coming out from the folks at Kadansha. I don't think it's been released here in America. Before, so but we're going straight omnibus with this, $22.99. The manga ka behind that is Katsuhisa Minami. And also getting Momo Legendary Warrior Volume 1 coming out that very same week. As well as Helsing, the Deluxe Edition Volume 6. And that is uh, by Kota Hirano and being published by Dark Horse Comics. And it is... I think this one is $13.99. Now, that very same week, we're also getting... No, this one's $14.99. Um, sorry about that. The Common Writer Kuga, Volume 5, being published by Titan Comics. And also getting Sketchy, Volume 1, coming out that week. And that is being published by the folks at Kadansha. And Kamen Rider is by Shotaro Ishinomori and Toshiki Inoue. And it is a relaunch because I know... What the heck was it called in a... Mass Rider. It was called Mass Rider in America. I keep forgetting that that era. Power Rangers and BR Troopers and Big Bad Beetleborgs. Never took off in America. But in Japan, Kamen Rider is huge. If not bigger than Sentai, which is what the Power Rangers are based on. From other publishers, we have The Adventures of the Gummy Bears from Fanagraphics. And that is by Bobby J. J. G. Weiss and a lot of other creators. This is $34.99 and it is all part of the Disney Afternoon hardcover collections. I love those books. Blood City Rollers is coming out that very same week and that is published by Labyrinth Road. And that is V.P. Anderson and Tatiana Hill working on that original graphic novel as well as door to door night by night is coming out that very same week and we're also getting the eden graphic novel and that is being published by humanoids as well as the fabulous furry freak brothers hardcover seventh voyage and other follies now, this is being published by the folks at Fantagraphics. Man, and I gotta say, I love that cover. That cover is freaking awesome. And this is by Gilbert Shelton and Dave Sheridan. $22.99. From Silver Sprocket, we're getting When I Arrived at the Castle by Emily Carroll. And that is coming out that very same week, as well as Dwellings. And this is a hardcover from Oni Press by Jay Stevens, and that is $34.99. Now, if you're interested in any of the books I'm talking about so far, and you live in Canada, check out our first sponsor. BD Cosmos, the Canadian leader in graphic novels. They have a physical storefront in Montreal, Quebec, and their website, bdcosmos.com, offers 25% off your order of over $99 or more, and free shipping everywhere in Canada for every order of $200 or more. Their shipping care is exceptional. Your books will stay cozy through the rough Canadian weather and arrive to you in... Near Mint Condition! After checkout, let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way and you'll be added to the monthly $25 gift card raffle. Entries are valid for new and returning customers. Don't be afraid to call or email them. Ask them questions. Their staff is always happy to help guide you towards the right purchase. Visit their website, bdcosmos.com for more. B.D. Cosmos. With rewards and raffles taking care of customers in Canada. 
a week of April 17th from Marvel Comics, we have Daredevil by Saladin Ahmed, Volume 1, Hell Breaks Loose. And this one is $19.99. I read the first issue, and honestly, I was like, uh, I don't, because coming off of Chip Zdarsky's big story arc, but by the time I got to the fourth and fifth issue, I saw what Saladin Ahmed was doing. By the way, Awesome artwork in here by Aaron Cooter. Herman uh, Peralta is also the other artist in that cover there. It's by John Romita Jr. And uh, yeah, I'm in. I, I like to see where this is going to go. I love the fact that he's using both Daredevils. But you can find out what that means. Uh, this is the first five issues. $19.99, 136 pages. And Star Wars Bounty Hunters is getting in on the act of Dark Droids. This is volume 7. Collecting issues 35 through 42. I think this is it. This is the last trade paperback. I'm going to miss this series by Ethan Sachs. Uh, Lan Medina, Medina is doing the artwork in here. And if you haven't picked it up and you've picked up all the other Star Wars, oh my gosh, you're missing out. It is so good. So underrated. Captain America Epic Collection. And this is the man who sold the United States. So we're looking at the Steve Englehart era. era. Uh, with Steve Robbins and Gil Kane, and of course, the beginning of the Jack Kirby era, uh, all the way to issue 200. So this collects issue 180, 200, the Marvel Treasury uh, special, Captain America's Bicentennial Battles. And Marvel Masterworks, Captain America Volume 16, J.M. DeMatteis and Mike Zeck is what we're looking at here. Collecting issues 270 to 280, annual number 6, and then material for Marvel Fanfare number 5. And the Micronauts, the original Marvel Years Omnibus Volume 1, with all four covers. I'll probably be talking about that one when I talk about my top 10 that I'm looking forward to in the month of April. Oh my gosh, yes. I could have... Spoilers, but yeah, that's definitely on the list. Star Wars Legends Epic Collection Volume 1, the New Republic Volume 1. And this is collecting Star Wars Mary Jade by the Emperor's Hand 0 through 6, Shadows of the Empire Evolution 1 through 5, Star Wars Jabba Tape, and Star Wars Boba Fett Twin Engines of Destruction, a material for Marvel or Star Wars Tales. So this is during the Dark Horse era. Star Wars Tales 1, 3 through 5, 10, 14, 15, 20, and 22. $44.99, 488 pages. Very glad that that's coming back to print. I know a lot of people have been wanting it. We have City Boy from Greg Pak and Ming Q Jung. And this is collecting the issues 1 through 6 of City Boy. And this is a brand new hero with a never before seen connection to the DC Universe. And the Jurassic League is coming out. So I got to interview Daniel Warren Johnson this past Monday. And we talked a little bit about this. But this is by Daniel Warren Johnson. Juan Guerreón doing the artwork here. Collecting the six issue miniseries. And it is as ridiculous as you think it is. It is the Justice League reimagined as dinosaurs. How could you not want to read that? Batman White Knight presents Generation Joker. This is part of the White Knight universe, part of the Black Label line, but no Sean Murphy other than the cover. So we have Katana Collins and Clay McCormick are the creators behind this. And this is collecting White Knight universe collects issues one through six. Tim Drake, Robin volume two by Megan Fitzmartin and Riley Rosmo. I haven't had a chance to read this, not even volume one. Tim Drake, Robin, seven through 10 are collected in here. 160 pages, $19.99. Justice League Dark Rebirth Omnibus. This one's $150, 1,456 pages. And this is definitely one that I remember in the catalog. That's why I always tell, don't get people like don't get too excited about the catalog whenever we go through them because there's so many mistakes a couple of years ago we saw something called justice league dark rebirth and it had 1456 pages but it was like 29 dollars 99 and i thought there's no way that's a real book that's gonna get canceled and luckily for us it did get canceled but re-solicited in uh, put in the catalog and now solicited and coming out finally in april so very excited for that book i Love the Justice League Dark, and I'm all here for it, no matter what universe, New 52 or Rebirth. I think they have wonderful characters. Uh, from Image Comics, we have Destiny Gate, Volume 1, and that is by Ryan Caddy and Christian Debari. 
$16.99, collecting the first four issues of that. And Fine Print Volume 2 is coming out that very same week. And that cover, Stay Ben Sajic, my goodness. Uh, this is where it gets weird, apparently. And this is a Volume 2. And we're also getting Terror War, the trade paperback. And that is coming out that same week as those other books. This is by Saladin Ahmed and Jay Lasting. Uh, Dave Acosta and Walter Pereira are the artists. It's collecting Terror Ward 1 through 9, $17.99. From the world of Dark Horse Comics, we have From the World of Minor Threats, The Alternates. This is by Patton Oswalt, Tim Seeley, Jordan Bloom, Tess Fowler, and Christopher Mitten are the illustrators on this book, collecting the alternates one through four. So it is from the world of minor threats, which is the Patton Oswalt book, which is a lot of fun. And from Boom Studios, we have House of Slaughter volume four coming out that week. Sam Johns and Leticia Caronici are the creators behind this with a cover there by Javier Rodriguez collecting House of Slaughter 16 through 20. And yes, this is a spin-off of Something's Killing the Children, uh, the James Tinian series. We're also getting Wild's End Volume 4. Dan Abnett and INJ Colbert are the creators uh, behind this. This is collecting Wild's End Beyond the Sea 1 through 6. And from IDW, we're getting In Perpetuity by Peter Hoy and Maria Hoy. This is a trade paperback for $19.99. The dimensions look like it's a landscape, though. 208 pages. And The Rocketeer in the Den of Thieves. Stephen Mooney and David Messina working on this book. Uh, I love seeing The Rocketeer back. $17.99. I need to release that video. I, re I recorded that video over a month ago. I, I have a Rocketeer video I need to release. Okay, I... Uh, not only my mental note, but this is actual video <laughs> reminder to, to release that video. 112 pages, $17.99. From the world of manga, we have the All or Nothing graphic novel that is being published by the folks over at Yen Press. And we're also getting Dead Company Volume 3 from Tokyo Pop. And I believe those are print on demand. And Fox Color Jealousy is coming out that very same week. And we're also getting Goku Rakugai, Volume 1. And that is being published by the folks at Viz Media. Goku Rakugai, Volume 1. Man, I try to slow down, I can't even say. Yuto Sano is the mangaka behind that particular book. I Want You to Make Me Beautiful. The complete collection is coming out. And that is being published by Steamship. We're also getting Rent a Girlfriend, Volume 24. Gosh, I need to, like, they need to come up with more, more box sets for me to catch up. Otherwise, my goodness. Um, Scarlet Secret is coming out that very same week. And that is being published by the folks over at Tokyo Pop. But it's the Love Love. Maybe I think it's the... No, it is still Tokyo Pop. This is by Tomo Serisawa. And we're also getting Snowball Earth Volume 1 coming out that same week. And that is being published by the folks at Viz Media. There's a lot of manga coming out this particular week. The Prince is the Villainous Way Volume 1 is coming out that week. And there have been so many titles that have had that same type of <laughs> title. Uh, okay, that one is published by Tokyo Pop. Team Phoenix is coming out that very same week. And that is, of course, published by the folks over at Udon. And this is volume one. And oh my gosh, I read it. And this is just a quick restock. There's going to be five of them. And it is freaking awesome. Titan is coming out with Three Exorcism Siblings, volume one. This is by Shinta Harikawa, is the mangaka, $12.99. And from other publishers, so this is pretty much anybody that didn't release a lot of books that week. Uh, we are getting the Advocate hardcover coming out that week. And that is being published by the folks over at 10, uh, 10 Speed Press. The Atlas Comics Library Volume 2 is coming out that week. And some of my viewers have already told me how 
uh, the first book was, but this is volume two, Venus. So Marvel was releasing this era in their Mighty, or not Mighty, but the Marvel Masterworks. And now it is Fanagraphics that is putting these out. And I don't know the dimensions of these compared to the Marvel Masterworks, uh, but this is the stuff in here by Bill Everett, $49.99. Very happy that somebody is doing those. Bad Dreams in the Night is coming out that very same week. And that is being published by the folks over at Andrews McMeal. And the best of Simon and Kirby's mainline comics. And that is a hardcover published by Tomorrow Publishing. And this one is $49.99. So it's Joe Simon and Chris Kirby and Jack Kirby working on this book. Interesting. So it's war, westerns, and crime, and romance genres. I think Marvel put out some of that stuff already. Beontopia Legends is coming out that very same week, and that is being published by the folks over at Fair Square Comics. And Breath of the Giant is coming out in a trade paperback that week from Fair Square Comics as well. Centralia is coming out in a hardcover. This is by the folks at Living the Line by Miel van der Pite. And this is a freaking phenomenal, beautiful book. I had the pleasure of reading this back in February or January. Man, I really enjoyed it. I like how mysterious and eerie and just wonderful it is. That might make it in my top 10 uh, this year. Because every year I do it. Or try to, no, I do, I do. I've been doing it for quite a while. Um, I do a top 10 books that I've read. Covenant is coming out, and that is being published by the folks over at Oni Press. This is by Lysandra Wong. As well as The Sig is coming out in a trade paperback format by 10 Ton Press. And we're also getting Dear Body. And that is coming out from the folks over at... Fair Square Comics. They've been putting out a lot of stuff lately. And this looks like an anthology series. Our Bodies, Our Rules, Our Stories. Okay, so it is an anthology series by 12 women. And non-binary people describe relationships with their bodies in their own words. Illustrated by 12 brilliant artists. A stunning and creative graphic novel about body positivity. And Double Booking, The Tale of the Mummy Cat is coming out that same week as well as the Eternal Soul Fire Volume 1 coming out that week. And that is being published by Aspen. So glad to see Aspen still putting stuff out. That was a Michael Turner's publishing company. Well, it was like a part of the image, part of Top Cow, and then and they kind of did their own thing. But I'm glad that they're still around doing things. This is by J.T. Kroll and Alex Konat. It is a trade paperback for $16.99. And Fanagraphics Underground Shell Collection is coming out that very same week. And let me see who Ron Re Reg Jr. or Ron Reggae Jr. It's the first 75 issues of his mini comic series in 2016. Um, Reggae, okay, so it is Reggae, began this monthly subscription only series with 100 copies or so published month to month. Okay, that's cool. So it looks like it's just a collection of stuff that has been published in the past through webs, uh, through webcomic. And limited editions, too. Ghost of Science Past is coming out that very same week, and that is a hardcover. And that is being published by the folks over at Humanoids. And we're also getting Gleam that very same week, and that is a trade paperback. As well as Harlem coming out in a trade paperback format. And that is being published by the folks over at MBM. Drawn and Quarterly is the group or the publisher that is publishing the Gleam, by the way. Fanagraphics is also publishing EC's Jack Cammon, Calamity, and Other Stories. And that is coming out in a hardcover format for $35. And we're also getting Legalization Nation in a hardcover format. And that is being published by the folks over at Floating World Comics. And it is done in this landscape format. Next up is Mystery Brothers Trade Paperback Volume 1. This is being published by Red 5 Comics by Quentin Lee and Ella Zill. 
And we're also getting Rick and Morty, the Deluxe Double Feature Volume 3. These are coming out in hardcover format by Oni Press. They've been doing that for quite a while. Scare City is coming out in a hardcover format. And that is being published by the folks over at Humanoids. And we're also getting Shy Ninja, and also by the folks at Humanoids. And that is coming out in a hardcover format. Now, if you live in Europe and you're interested in purchasing or pre-ordering any of these books, check out our sponsor. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! The week of April 24th from Marvel Comics, we have Silver Surfer Rebirth Legacy. So this is collecting Silver Surfer Rebirth Legacy 1 through 5, and it is the, I guess it is, yeah, it is the third story in that trilogy by Ron Mars and Ron Lim. And I'm so glad both of them are working together on this book. $15.99 and 112 pages. Star Wars Dr. Aphra Volume 7 Dark Droids by Alyssa Wong and Miku Jung. And collecting Star Wars Dr. Aphra 32 through 40. So now Dr. Aphra is getting in on the Dark Droids fun. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Groot Rise. This is part of the Colin Kelly and Jackson Lansing run. Collecting Guardians of the Galaxy 6 through 10. And Guardians of the Galaxy Annual Number 1. I enjoy the first volume. I'm curious to see where they take the Guardians. Alex Linz and Kef Walker, the artist. Avengers Incorporated Action Mystery Adventure. My wife was really enjoying this. Uh, she was getting it in single issues. This is by Al Ewing and Leonard Kirk. And collecting the five issue series. I think it was supposed to be ongoing, but I, um, I guess, I don't know, it got canceled. $17.99, 128 pages. Miss Marvel by Saladin Ahmed is coming out in a thicky, thick trade paperback. And it is $44.99. Uh, issues 1 through 18 are collecting in there. And 408 pages. Spine Tingling Spider Man. And this is by Saladin Ahmed and Juan Ferreira, who have been working together on a lot of books. Collecting Spine Tingling Spider-Man 0 through 4, 184 pages, $19.99. Mini Marvel Spidey Sense. And this is $13.99, and it is a digest-sized book. Star Wars by Gillen and Pack Omnibus. One of my most wanted, one of my most anticipated books. And really looking forward to this one. $125, 1,008 pages. And also Avengers West Coast Epic Collection Ultron Unbound. This is collecting Avengers West Coast 83 to 95, Annual 7 through 8, Darkhawk Annual number 1, Iron Man Annual number 13. So this is the return of Roy Thomas to the Avengers and with Dan Thomas. And Dave Ross doing the artwork for most of the part. MC MC Wyman actually doing some of the artwork too. $44.99, 488 pages. X-Men Epic Collection Fatal Attractions. So collecting Uncanny X-Men 301 to 306. X-Men, adjectiveless X-Men, 24 and 25. X-Men Unlimited number 2. Wolverine 75. Gambit 1 through 4. And X-Men Survival Guide to the Mansion. And that book is $49.99, 520 pages. From the world of DC Comics, we have The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, Volume 2. And that is a trade paperback by Matthew Rosenberg. Carmen Di Gian Domenico is the artist on the book. And this collects issues 7 through 12. And The Flash, Volume 20, Jeremy Adams and Fernando Passarin are the creators behind this book, collecting issues 797 and 799, and then four stories from Flash 800. Satana by Paul Dini is coming back to print. This book has 440 pages, $49.99. And we're also getting a new printing, or rather a, a rebranding of Booster Gold, the complete 2007 series, not to be confused with the original Booster Gold series. Uh, book one, $29.99, 400 pages. 
And from the world of Image Comics, we're getting The Call, Volume 1. That is by Kelly Thompson and Mattia De Lulis. And collecting the first five issues, $14.99. The Invincible trade paperbacks are coming back. Volume 13, Growing Pains, is coming out that uh, week. As well as Volume 23. Savage Strength of Storm. Volume 1 is coming out that week. And that is by Drew Craig and Jason Finestone. And the cover looks like... Uh, that is a Drew Craig cover. Collecting the Savage Strength of Star Storm 1 through 6. $16.99. Uh, at first glance, I thought it was a manga when I was looking at the cover. And Scrapper is coming out in a hardcover format. And that is by Cliff... Blazinski. Oh my gosh. Is that a dog? Alex the Campy. Uh, <laughs> Scrapper's a good dog adopted by good people. Sure, he spends his nights patrolling his post-apocalyptic metropolis with his buddy Tank protecting its citizens. Okay, that's all I need to know. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, collecting Scrapper 1 through 6. Uh, anyone who's ever wanted to pet the dog in a video game, Mom, don't worry, none of the animals die. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. I do get worried when I hear post-apocalyptic and dog. I'm like, oh no. Do I want to read it? Do I want it to break my heart? Uh, from the world of Dark Horse Comics, we're getting the EC Archives Tells from the Crypt Volume 3. Al Feldstein, William Gaines, Jack Davis, Graham Ingalls, and Jack Kamen. 29 through 34 of the Tales from the Crypt are collected in here, and I always suggest getting those. They're wonderful, wonderful books. From Boom Studios, we're getting quite a few books. We're getting Abbott, trade paperback, coming out by Saladin Ahmed and Sami Kevela with Tash Tenfold as the artist. It's a five-issue miniseries. And Armory Wars, Apollo Burning Star 4 Ultimate Edition hardcover is coming out that day. And that is $49.99, and it collects... All 12 issues by Claudio Sanchez and Chandra Eckert and Rags Morales. This is uh, the Coheed front man. And I got to talk to him for a little bit at New York Comic Con. He's a really nice guy. Uh, Armory Wars Second Stage Turbine Blade is coming out in a hardcover format. And that is $39.99. And we're also getting Expanse Dragon Volume 1 Dragon Tooth coming out that very same week. That's by Andy Diggle and Ru Rubin. Rubin. Rubin is the artist with Christian Ward on that cover art. And that collects the four-issue miniseries of... Oh, no. Actually, it is an ongoing series. So that's the first four issues. $17.99. Last Sons of America is coming out that very same week. And I really like that cover. And that is by Philip Kennedy Johnson and Matthew Dow Smith. And $19.99. And we're also getting the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Recharged Volume 4 coming out that same week from Boom Studios. And from the world of IDW, we're getting Godzilla, the Library Collection Volume 2. And that is by Eric Powell, Tracy Marsh, and Jason Sierramela, Phil Hester, just some of the creators. And $29.99, 304 pages. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Stranger Things crossover is coming out. And that is a trade paperback for $19.99, 104 pages. Sonic the Hedgehog, Volume 16, Misadventures. And this is by Ian Flynn and even Evan Stanley. And collecting issues 62 to 66 of the IDW era of Ninja Turtles. From the world of manga, we're getting a brief moment of Ichika, and that is a volume one. And we're also getting the Kerberos in Silver Rain, volume one, coming out that very same week. As well as Vinland Saga, volume... Okay, so it looks like Vinland Saga's... Man, they're gonna crank those up. This is the Volume 2 Deluxe Edition coming out that very same week. And 
I, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, reading those in the Lux Edition. And when I got it in, I went ahead and just reread it before doing my overview of the book. And if you haven't had a chance to read it, you know, people have asked my honest opinion. Should I get this or should I just get, uh, uh, you know, the, the original hardcovers? And honestly, it's it's up to you because I always say, uh, yeah. If you want to upgrade, if you love the story and it means something to you, then yeah, upgrade. If you haven't got it, maybe try the standard hardcover first because it's two and ones. These are three and ones, the deluxe editions. And I'd hate for anybody to absolutely hate the book. Like that, that would suck if you hate the book and you bought like a deluxe edition. And the hardcovers, the standard hardcovers are a little bit cheaper too. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Soul Eater Perfect Edition Hardcover Volume 14 is coming out that week, as well as one of my most anticipated ones, Speed Grapher Volume 1, and that is being published by Titan Comics. I'm a huge fan of the anime. I've never read the manga, so I don't know how well that's going to translate. Like, if you read the manga, let me know if there's any differences between that and the anime, please. Uh, as a big fan of the anime, and I don't think the anime really had a, a tight ending. This is by Tomozo. So I'm so glad that we're actually getting a speed grapher manga now. And Titan just keeps publishing all this manga and I'm all here for it. Now, as far as other publishers from Floating World Comics, we have the Black Phoenix Omnibus. And that is by Rich Tomaso, coming out that very same week. It is drawn and written by them. As well as the Ablaze Artist Spotlight Manix, coming out that very same week. And this is Manix Abra. And that is $22.99. The Cemeterians is coming out that very same week. And that is being published by Bolt Comics. It is by Daniel Krauss and Manhouse. And it is the author of the Autumnal and Wellfall. Oh, and Autumnal is what a lot of my viewers really like. And The Shape of Water. If you're not familiar with the work. Choose your own adventures forecast from Stonehenge. Who did not like those growing up? Come on. Man, we all had those choose our own adventures. I think even Netflix cashed in on that. Uh, from DC Thompson, we have Commando Presents, Ramsey's Raiders Volume 1, and a Volume 2 coming out that same week uh, by Ferg Handley and Keith Page. And for the first time in its 57-year history, Commando Presents Full Color graphic novels 57 years wow that's a big deal i don't think people realize how big of a deal it is after 57 years to be publishing something in color yeah that's awesome uh and then we're also getting the hobtown mystery stories volume one case of the missing men that is being published by oni press and I'm talking about like choose your own adventures books that, the the cover reminds me of nancy drew or the hardy boys i don't know if people read those maybe i'm just aging myself here uh homebody's coming out in a hardcover and a soft cover by harper alley and king arthur and the knights of just is coming out in a trade paperback format and we're also getting rumpus room that very same week from scout comics we're getting the non-stop collector's pack that includes the first graphic novel the impure and that is $19.99. And Swords of Glass is coming out. This one, I believe, had a scheduled date of um, January, if I'm not mistaken. This is being published by Humanoids. And it's by Sylvania Corgat and Laura Sukari. And from Vault Comics, we have Whiff Wolf. And that is by Colin Kelly and Jackson Lansing, two of my favorite creators. Um, modern creators, really, because I just got into their work heavy with some of their indie stuff and the Captain America run, and Dylan Ogden. So this one is $19.99, and it looks to be a, an original graphic novel. Kicking off the week of April 30th, May 1st, we have X-Men 2099 Omnibus. And collecting X-Men 2099, 1 through 35, Spider-Man 2099, 16, Ravage 2099, 15, Doom 2099, 14, Doom 2099, oh, I already said Doom 2099, 14, Punisher 2099, 13, X-Men 2099, special number one, 
X Men 2099 Oasis, and X Nation 2099 1 through 6. The book has 1,240 pages, $125. So not only do you get all of X Men 2099 and all the Fall of the Hammer crossover, but also the X Nation series that unfortunately didn't last long. But that's got beautiful artwork by Humberto Ramos coming right off of his Impulse run. John Francis Moore and Ron Lim, and like I mentioned, Humberto Ramos, both covers available the same day. Mighty Marvel Masterworks, Daredevil Volume 3, Unmasked, collecting issues 20 through 2 through 32 of Daredevil. The classic Silver Age in a small digest size. Carnage Volume 1, Born Again, by Torun Grombeck and Ram B, as well as Francesco Mana and Pere Perez. So we have Web of Carnage 1 and Carnage 1 through 4. Superior Spider-Man Volume 1. Dan Slott returns to the Superior Spider-Man universe along with Mark Bagley and Giuseppe Comincoli collecting Superior Spider-Man Returns number 1, Superior Spider-Man the 2023 series 1 through 5 and then material from Amazing Spider-Man number 31. That book is $19.99, 152 pages. Thunderbolts Epic Collection Wanted Dead or Alive. One of my viewers was just asking me if they had collected the Hawkeye era of Thunderbolts yet an epic and not yet, but it is coming out that last week of April. Collecting Thunderbolts 13 through 25, issue number zero, Captain American Citizen V Annual 1998, and Avengers number 12. $44.99, 432 pages. Star Wars The High Republic Shadows of Starlight. So this collects Star Wars The High Republic Shadows of Starlight 1 through 4 by Charles Soule. Ibrahim Robertson and Marika Cresta, $17.99, 112 pages. She-Hulk by Rainbow Rao, Volume 4, Gensational. Love that title, $17.99, 128 pages. Collecting Sensational, She-Hulk 1 and 2. And then the A story of 3 and 4. This is the new series, 120. Oh, yeah, I already said how many pages it was. Spider-Boy, Volume 1, the less or the webless wonder. Dan Slott, Paco Medina. Oh, I love that art. And this is collecting Spider-Boy 1 through 4 and the material from Amazing Spider-Man, the 2022 series, issue 31. Captain America Omnibus Volume 1. This is the new printing, and this is the Silver Age Captain America. So collecting Captain America 100 to 113. And of course, before it was renamed to Captain America, material from Tales of Suspense 59 through 99 and Nod Brand Ech number 3. Both covers available the same day. 896 pages, $125. From the world of DC Comics, we're getting the Sandman Universe Nightmare Country. And that is by James Tynion and Lisandro Esteren. And this is collecting Nightmare Country 1 through 6. And it is coming out in a trade paperback. Absolute Justice League, The World's Greatest Superheroes by Alex Ross and Paul Dini. And I was talking to my buddy Omni Dog about this. He said some of it was really wordy, but I really enjoy this series. To me, it captures what I love about the Justice League. Plus, you get beautiful, beautiful artwork by Alex Ross. You have Paul Dini writing the stories in here. 100 pages, 396. No, I'm sorry. $100, 396 pages. Batman Three Jokers, the direct market exclusive is coming out. So finally, Three Jokers is coming out again in a hardcover, but this time around, it's being reprinted only for the direct market. So you can't get this at Amazon. You have to either get it from your local comic book shop or one of our sponsors or your favorite place to get comics online. And of course, collecting the three issue miniseries. That's really interesting that they're doing that. They're going back instead of making new things. From Image Comics, we're getting a new printing of Invincible, not only volume five, but also volume 24, The End of All Things Part One, and volume 25, The End of All Things Part Two. From Boom Studios, we're getting Alice Never After. Very witty title there. Uh, and that is coming out the last week of April. That is by Dan Pinocha. And it collects Alice Never After issues 1 through 5. No, I think Boom actually releases their books on Wednesday. So that will be the May 1st release. And Firefly Return to the Earth That Was. I love that title. And that is Volume 3 by Greg Pak. 
and that is collecting issues of Firefly 33 through 36. From the world of Dynamite, we're getting Disney villains Maleficent, and that is coming out in a hardcover format uh, and a trade paperback format. The hardcover is $19.99, the trade paperback is $13.99, and it is the same cover on it by Jay Lee. This is by Sue Lee. Uh, doing the art and the story in there. From the world of manga, from Dark Horse Comics, we have Innocent Omnibus Volume 2. And, oh my gosh, that first volume was freaking awesome. I don't know if you all have had a chance to read it, or if you're a fan of manga. I'm just glad that they're coming out with them in a big, thick format. Uh, from Tokyo Pop, we're getting Watch Dogs Tokyo Volume 1. And that one is $14.99. We're also getting Outbride Beauty and Beast. What in the hell are those? What are they doing? Are they caught in the rain? No, I don't think that's what's happening. <laughs> this is published by Seven Seas Entertainment. You know, I take it back. It looks like Tuttle Publishing is doing some manga. This is the manga edition of Kokoro. So Seki Natsume is Kokoro, the heart of things. And this is retold and illustrated by Yoshisaki Nagi. And that is $14.99. So it looks like they're they're doing... Hmm. This is a book that has sold, by the way, millions of copies in Japan. Japan. And for the first time, it's coming out here in America. I... Yeah, I stand corrected. I guess they are doing a bunch of manga. Well, good, good, good. The more the merrier. So Taro is also publishing Miyamoto Musashi's Book of Five Rings. Man, I thought they were just... Putting out, uh, never mind. Uh, this one is $14.99. And from other publishers, we have Blessed B. And that is coming out in a hardcover format. And that is being published by Fantagraphics. And this is by Rick Altergott. And $24.99. We're also getting Everfrost coming out. And that's coming out in a trade paperback format. And that's being published by Black Mask Comics. Ryan Lindsay is the writer and artist on that. And Expats is coming out in a hardcover format. Not Experts, Expats is coming out from Caitlin Diawi Books. Man, that's cute. Um, we're also getting the fake Chinese sounds coming out in a trade paperback format and that is by Jing Jing Song both the writer and artist on the book $13.99 is what the price of that one is Cinebook is coming out with Harry Dixon's volume 1 Mysterion and that is coming out that very same week as well as the Hellman of Hammer Force the early adventures coming out in a trade paperback format from Rebellion 2000 AD. Loud House Volume 20. Totally not a Loud House coming out both in a hardcover and trade paperback. No Bleach Volume 2 is coming out by Yeho Sun and Kwang Zhu Li. That's being published by Webtoon Unscrolled. $18.99. Scoop Volume 1 is coming out in a trade paperback format. And that's being published by Matt Cave Studios. This is by Richard Ashley Hamilton and Joseph Cooper. And the cover is by Inaki Miranda, $14.99. Mad Cave is also releasing books on the Wednesday. So that one will be out May 1st. So that is something to keep in mind. So if you go to your comic book store, that's where you're going to end up finding it. So this is also another Mad Cave book. And this is Skeeters by Kevin Kufe and Bob France. Kelly Williams is the artist on the cover. $17.99. And Snoopy Beagle Scout Adventures is coming out that very same week. Being published by Andrews McMeal. And I really thought... Well, I know Dark... Uh, no, Fantagraphics has the comic strips. So I'm always curious how these things work as to who owns the comic strips, who owns the comic book adaptation. So, pretty interesting. Uh, Unhappy Camper is coming out from Harper Alley. This is by Lily Lamote and Ann Zhu, $15.99. And to wrap up the 
week and month of April, and a little bit of May, I guess, is We Are the Smurfs, Volume 3, Bright New Days, $8.99. Now, if you're interested in purchasing any of these books, don't forget to check out our sponsors. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And those are the books coming out in April and May. And as always, like I'd like to remind people, sometimes there's delays, but there's nothing I can do about that. So just keep that in mind. Don't forget to smash that like button, though. That is something I can do is remind people. A big thank you again to Dom of X for putting the list together. My goodness, dude, you're a beast. And thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Could not be doing this without you all. That's it, everyone. Stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.